this door. Hi guys. Hi. I got it. We get started by 6.30 <laughs> tonight. Mm. Been a beautiful day. Rain, rain, rain. Gray, gray, gray. Yep, it's been. <laughs> but you know, you get up above all that rain, the sun was shining. You just couldn't get up there above it. It did all that negative. The sun's shining. Yep. Yep. That right? Yep. I'm tired of gray. Well, we'll have gray till for a while, won't we? <laughs> is, this looked up? is this one all right? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. You're such a pretty lady. Ah, oh, you're so full of all right. BS. <laughs> Beautiful sunshine. <laughs> oh, we got a, a neat study here from Ephesians 6, verse 9. Today, you want to scroll it for us today? Maybe. But it broke apart best I could. Makes it easier to read when you break it apart. Don't, you do, no, don't, <clears throat> you don't. I tried to get Marsha to, but she said, no, no. So she got to put up with what I get, right? Isn't that right? You put you up with what I get? Knock it off. <laughs> Hello, dear brothers and sisters, chosen and dearly beloved by the happy God. I'm glad Lisa started that. In looking into the Unsearchable Riches, volume 79, page 101. From John Essex, we read that if parents have responsibility, so too have masters. Yep. Though they may occupy a superior station or status on earth, this again is only in the flesh. In both classes, masters and slaves today have a master in the heavens who is common to both, <laughs> yep. and he will be completely impartial when assessing the good deeds of each. Isn't that something? We've all got a master in the heavens. <clears throat> yeah. For all of us must be manifested in front of the dais of Christ, that each should be requited for that which he puts into practice through the body, whether good or bad. You see in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 10. A master should regard a fellow believer, as Paul urged Philemon, Philemon. Philemon to oh, regard omnipotence. Omnipotence. Om, on Semus. On Seamus. Okay. No longer as a slave, but above a slave, a bro b brother beloved. Mm hmm. Philemon 16. Yep. Philemon, just one chapter. Paul would remember how he himself had been enrolled in Christ's service. We read in Acts chapter 9 Now, Ananias, Ananias came away and entered the house, and placing his hands on him, he said, Saul, Brother, the Lord has commissioned me, Jesus, whom who you was seen by on the road by which you came, he has commissioned me, so that you should be receiving sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately fall from his eyes as if scales, and he received sight. Besides rising, also he is baptized, and obtaining nourishment is strengthened. Mm -hmm. Now, he came to be with the disciples in Damascus some days. And immediately in the synagogues, he heralded Jesus that he is the Son of God. Acts 9, 17 to 20. He recognized that he himself had a master in the heavens, the risen Christ. An important <laughs> distraction between Christ... Distinction. Oh, excuse me. Distinction. Between Christ and Lord is that in the Lord is different from in Christ. In Christ has to do with our salvation, being made righteous. But in the Lord is who our, sal our spiritual armor is from, our protection. It has nothing to do with our salvation. That was from the book, uh, Check Your Panatically. This is brought out more in Knox Commentary, found in the Concordant Commentary, page 294. And we find it fitting to be in our study. It... <clears throat> It is of principal importance that we distinguish the double relationship which we sustain to Christ and to the Lord. In Christ, all physical distinctions vanish. There are no slaves and masters. Even the sexes are not distinguished in Christ. Galatians 3.28 But in the Lord, these physical distinctions are recognized and made the basis of our conduct toward one another. 
Yep. Wives are subject, children are obedient, slaves are, are subservient in the Lord. The key to all cor correct conduct lies in the recognition of their heavenly master. Uh, <clears throat> the true slave seeks to please him. The master acknowledges him in his behavior toward his slave. Children obey their parents in the Lord, for such is his wish. Fathers train them in the Lord, conforming to his gracious methods. A slave is especially encouraged by the fact that he will receive his due from his heavenly master, even though he receives nothing from his earthly one, as, is, as it is seen in Second Corinthians 5.10. Love is of the utmost importance in our lives. Paul reminds us of this in Colossians 3, 14 and 15, saying, Now, over all these, put on love, which is a tie of maturity, and let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you were called also in one body, and become thankful. And our verse for the day is Ephesians 6, 9, and it says, And masters, be doing the same toward them, being lax." In threatening, being aware that their masters as well as yours are in the heavens, and there are no, is no partiality with him. Yep. And our references kick off in Colossians four one, masters, tender that which is just and equitable to your slaves, being aware that you also have a master in the heavens. Ephesians five, excuse me, six five through eight. Slaves, be obeying your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling in the singleness of your heart as to Christ. Not with eye slavery as man pleasers but as slaves of Christ doing the will of God from the soul with good humor slaving as to the Lord and not to men. Being aware that whosoever good whatsoever, whatsoever mm -hmm. good each one should be doing for this he should be requited by the Lord whether slave or free. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 7, 20-24 Each one in the calling in which he was called, in this let him be remaining. Were you called a slave? Let it not be causing you care. But if you are able to become a free also, use it rather. For in the Lord, he who is being called a slave is the Lord's freed man. Likewise, he who is being called being free is a slave of Christ. What a price you were bought. Do not become slaves of men. Each one in what he was called, brethren, in this let him remain with God. Now, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 1 and 2. Paul, a called apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God, and Sophonus, a brother, to the ecclesia of God, which is in Corinth, hallowed in Christ Jesus, called saints, together with all in every place who are invoking the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both theirs and ours. Philippians 2, 5 through 11. Let this disposition be in you, which is in Christ Jesus also, who being inherently in the form of God, deems it not pillaging to be equal with God. Nevertheless, empties himself, taking the form of a slave and coming into the likeness of humanity, and being found in fashion as a human, he humbles himself, being obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore also God highly exalts himself and graces himself with the name that is above every name. That is him. Uh, what? Him, not himself. Oh. Him and him. Let me start over. Wherefore <laughs> also God highly exalts him, him exalts him and graces him with the name that is above every name that is in the name of Jesus every name should be bowing celestial and terrestrial and subterranean and every tongue what no not right now cuz I'm doing this say hi to the people after I get done. Tell them you're playing a game and you'll be back. Be back. Okay, say bye. Okay. Yeah, say see you later. Bye. <laughs> Wherefore, 
also God highly exalts him and graces him with the name that is above every name that in the name of Jesus every knee should be bowing celestial and terrestrial and subterranean and every tongue should be acclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord for the glory of God the Father yeah. Romans 2 6 through 11 who will be paying each one in accord with his acts to those indeed who by endurance and good acts are seeking glory and honor and incorruption Lapionian. yet to those of faction and stubborn indeed as to the truth yet persuaded to injustice indignation and fury affliction and distress on every human soul which is affecting glory affecting evil both of the jews first and of the greek yet honor glory and honor and peace to every worker of good both to the jew first and to the greek for there is no partiality with God. So why do they keep, they always put the Jew first in everything? Because that was the way it was, way it was. went to the Jews first, then to the Greeks. Well, if they're in abeyance and they're and, and God's not liking them right now, why has he got them first? That's the way it was. And this I is, don't care. This that's is not right. Romans. That's what the scripture says. So we just read it because that's what it says. Okay, well, I just don't think it's right. <laughs> well, you take it up with God when you talk I will. to him. <laughs> Colossians 3 23 and 25 all whatsoever you may be doing work from the soul as to the Lord and not to men being aware that from the Lord you'll be getting the compensation of the enjoyment of an allotment for the Lord Christ are you slaving for he who is injuring shall be requited for that which he in, injures and there is no partiality yep, that's the references for Ephesians 6, 9. So, and I'm not being a smart aleck when I say I'm going to talk to God about it. I've got a lot of things I want to talk to God about. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, we don't understand things all the way through. We, we're still learning, right? Yeah. No, I, want, I want to say, um, explain. Mm -hmm. In detail. The neat thing is, when we're snatched out, we're going to have the mind of Christ. And then we'll know a lot more than we do now, and we'll learn it. It's going to be awesome to see what's coming. So become then imitators of God as beloved children and be walking in love according as Christ also loves you and gives himself up for us an approach present and a sacrifice to God for a fragrant odor. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2. We love you all. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, we do. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. We get around here kind of late tonight. Uh, I seen Catherine show uh, it was on we, we just we didn't make it in time to get to it but we want to watch it and get done with this put this up and as my video is loading I want to watch her show and uh, see what it's about she, she has her premiere of the, of, uh, the readings of 1st Corinthians um, pretty neat I'm anxious to see that so I didn't make the live stream but I barely missed it I just barely missed it <laughs> anyway we love you all. Thanks for joining us. That's because he was farting around. Yeah, I was trying to get together. It's just, he, he can't get it together. It's like sitting in the corner doing this in school. I'm doing that, I'm doing that. Teacher says, Mike, what are you doing? I said, I'm just trying to get my stuff together. <laughs> Don't smile. It wasn't that funny. No. <laughs> all right. We love you guys. We love you. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow. See Bye. You then.